What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back yet again, and some really awesome information to drop for you today. Rocket Pass 4 details are upon us. In addition to that, I actually get a pretty hyped up video to show and to talk about. So if you haven't seen it yet, stay tuned. We're going to show it in just a second. I'm going to do, like I always do, the plug up front. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Check our links in the description below. Twitter, Twitch, Discord, it's all down there. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy this. But without further ado, we need to jump into this newest trailer. So check it out. So all I got to say first and foremost is, holy crap. I don't know if it's just the music track or that I'm that excited for the Mudcat GXT, but I am absolutely pumped for this new Rocket Pass. I think I'm also just excited to see some new items, get some new stuff going. So I'm going to talk about, there's a forum post up. It'll be in the description below. Obviously, again, if you want to go check out probably a little higher quality video, uh, see it for yourself and just read through the forum post but i'm just going to cover this really quick talk about it give some just initial impressions and just talk about honestly how pumped i am for august 27th with the new season and august 28th now that we have some new details so again let's jump into this so first and foremost this comes out you can start your climb through the pro tiers again so this is going to be 10 keys just like it usually is for all the rocket passes that we've seen in the past this is going to kick off the day after the season change so seasons change we're going from 11 to 12 on august 27th then on august 28th the day after that we're going to go ahead and we're going to see rocket pass 4. i think this is actually really smart because with the update it means that basically you can't data mine any of this um, which is not necessarily bad, but I think it's kind of cool that this stuff isn't really out there, right? So we're going to be all see it fresh. Obviously, if you watch the video, we get to see the Mudcat GXT, which I think that thing looks absolutely awesome. I'm super pumped for it. Um, we get to see some cool wheels. I think the goal explosion that they showed off is absolutely nuts. I would not be surprised if that's maybe a little special edition going on. I don't know or maybe it has one we will see that's just my that's just my feel that's just my feel but let's talk about what we know for sure so again coming out on the 28th the day after the season 12 update goes live as soon as you buy um the rocket pass 4 as always the mudcat's going to be the first thing you unlock so you're going to get the car right off the bat and then again Pro tiers, it's going to go up to 70 before you start getting into the painted, certified, and special edition items that we're familiar with. So really not a big change as far as what the actual Rocket Pass, the base structure is, um, which is kind of nice, actually. I think that works out pretty good. Um, so again, there's going to be free and premium tracks as well. That's going to stay uh, in addition to that. But here's some changes. Let's talk about them. First and foremost, you're actually going to be able to get what they call the premium bundle, uh, which gives you a head start and it only costs additional 10 keys. So for 20 keys, you're actually going to be able to get Rocket Pass Premium and 12 additional tiers into it. That's actually not too bad, but I cannot remember what buying tiers is. I didn't check before this video, so that might not be good. But it doesn't seem like a bad value, uh, to be really honest. I think it's actually usually a little bit more unless you buy the higher end uh, of the tiers, but I'm not sure. But if you got 20 keys sitting around, you weren't really sure what to do them, with them, this is not a bad, not a bad idea. Get a little head start, get through the 70 tiers first, get some of the cool stuff, but I think what everybody's really after is the tier 71 and beyond that. So 
In addition, other changes that this is really the other big change that we have to talk about is that they're changing up the way weekly challenges are going to be handled. Uh, a lot of feedback they said from the community basically said that now weekly challenges are not just going to be you you have longer than just that week to complete them. So they're going to unlock each week new weekly challenges, but if you let's say went on vacation or were out or couldn't play, you now get the option and the ability to essentially the week after and throughout the rest of the Rocket Pass have the option and have the ability to unlock those challenges. We've seen other games do this. We've seen like Apex, uh, most notably, that's the one that sticks in my mind, and I'm sure there are others uh, that let you essentially go back through anything that's already been unlocked to try to work towards them. I'm all for that, right? You're paying 10 keys. You might as well get the option to, to level this thing up as far as you can and get as much stuff because you've already paid for it. So I fully support that change. Uh, they did say that some of the challenges are going to change as well. Um, so we don't exactly know what that looks like, but hopefully they mix it up just a little bit. And uh, and hopefully that should be pretty good. That's really it. They did say that the weekly challenges are going to be worth 3, 5, and 8 uh, tier points, just like they normally have been. Again, we mentioned the initial tiers are going to be there's going to be 70 initial tiers before you start getting uh, into what they call the pro tiers which is your painted special edition and certified items for rocket pass 4 which they did mention are all tradable of course they are so uh i'm actually really pumped i saw some really cool stuff in the video i'm not going to speculate too much but we definitely get some glimpses of some new wheels for sure i saw that goal explosions absolutely a couple of uh i think uh maybe antennas Maybe it's hard to say what uh, is uh, is new uh, decals, but I'm sure there are some in there. I'm just really excited. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see what they got. I like that they don't show off too much, but I'm absolutely really pumped up. I don't know what it is about the Mudcat GXT. I think it looks absolutely awesome. So I'm super pumped for that. I'm a Twinser fan, which is probably a little bit why I like this thing so much, but it looks pretty clean. So I am excited for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. Stay tuned to the channel. We'll definitely be unlocking some tiers. We'll definitely be taking a look at everything that comes out with this. August 28th is going to be here before you know it. Six, five, six days from when this video is going to go up. So in addition to that, again, I'll put the plug out there. You've got until the 27th to grind your tiers. Season 11 is ending. So make sure to jump into that. Try to get where you want to be before the 27th. We'll get the changeover. You'll be able to do some placement matches. And then the next day, boom, we're going to get Rocket Pass 4 and all these new goodies. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I definitely know I am pumped and I'm ready to see some new stuff and open up some tiers. So I've been Doc from Every Gamer, guys. Again, thank you so much for the continued support. And if you are new and this was helpful to you and you're as excited as I am, make sure to subscribe down below. And again, check all the links for the rest of the stuff that we got going on on the channel. Mixing it up a little bit as of late. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying that as well. So, Dr. Average Gamer, guys, as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.